The Klondike Gold Rush took place in July of 1897, after a group of prospectors walked off a ship in Seattle, Washington, loaded down with gold. The story became front page news. The miners at this time were called Stampeders, and all of them were headed towards Alaska. Over 600,000 Stampeders flocked to the Yukon Territory. These men knew very little about where they were headed. Pamphlets were made available to help miners find their way. However, these pamphlets were usually filled with false information. Outfitters appeared all over to provide supplies such as food, clothing, camping materials, mining tools, and transportation to the gold seekers. The Northwest Mountain Police required the Stampeders to have a year's worth of supplies before they could cross the border. A lot of work was required to retrieve gold. The gold was often 10 feet below the surface. Miners had to thaw the frozen ground before they could start mining. All the searching for gold had to be done before winter came. Very few prospectors who came in search of gold had succeeded. 